I'm investigating the secrets of one of the world's greatest ancient icons. Using satellite data, I've tracked the Great Wall all the way from the mountains east of Beijing to the Gobi Desert, a 500,000 square mile expanse in the far northwest of China. Just over here, I can see sections of the wall. The feat of engineering required to build something so far out here in just this barren, desolate environment just kind of boggles the mind. After hours following the wall, something massive emerges from the desert haze. A mighty fortress. Today, the modern city of Jiayuguan is nearby. But 600 years ago, this fortress would have stood alone in a desolate wilderness. I never imagined I'd ever see something like this all the way out here in Western China. The Great Wall terminates in the mountains just a few miles south of here, making this incredible structure the wall's final gateway, the last fortress at the furthest edge of the Ming Dynasty's vast empire. Look at how massive this is. This rivals any, any gate or battlement anywhere in the world at this time. Here, you really get a sense of the ambition, the engineering, and the immense power of the Ming. A deep moat, walls up to 36 feet high, and watchtowers on every corner form three layers of defense. And even if the enemy does make it inside, there are traps designed to create devastating kill zones. You walk into this courtyard, and if you're an invading army, they can close those doors, close those iron doors there, and you're trapped here. And all of a sudden, they will just start raining down fire and arrows from above. and your invading force is doomed. This is an ingenious military strategy, all set and fixed in the design of this incredible fortress. It's massive, but also meticulously built. The precision of construction here is amazing, and you know, the emperor demanded that. And there's this legend that says, the architect told the emperor, he said, I can tell you the exact number of bricks it will take to build this fortress. He said it will be 99,999. And incredibly, at the end of construction, there was just one brick left. And that brick is set over there on that little ledge as a kind of mini monument to the incredible precision and design of this fortress. Its position, right at the end of the Ming Dynasty's Great Wall, earned it the name, the first and greatest pass under heaven. But this fortress is just one small part of a mega structure like nothing else on Earth. Just one end of their Great Wall of China. Until we had images from space, experts didn't know how massive the Ming Dynasty's Great Wall really was. But now, Chinese experts have calculated it's five and a half thousand miles long. That's over 1,500 miles more than previously thought, and long enough to stretch from New York to Los Angeles and all the way back again. But new technology is also unearthing secrets that take us beyond the great empire of the Ming. 1,200 miles away, Sarah has set up a base camp in the shadow of the Great Wall. 
We know the fortress of Jiayuguan marks the end of the Ming Wall, but the satellite data reveals something else. Oh, wow. Chinese experts have told Sarah about another section even further into the desert. If I zoom in on the satellite imagery, I can see that this part of the wall is much more eroded than other parts of the wall. So that might suggest that it's older than the parts of the wall built during the Ming Dynasty. This wall stretches far beyond the Ming Fortress, continuing west for hundreds of miles. The wall is completely straight in the middle of this desert. There's absolutely nothing else around here. Can't imagine why they would need to build a wall here. So what's going on? I'm heading west in search of answers. I want to know just how old is this wall? Where does it go? And if the Ming didn't build it, who did?